And parish man knows he's fortunate after Monday's shootout at a Harvey apartment complex. A bullets flew through his apartment as deputies shot and killed the man they say was responsible for a double homicide at FMT shipyard. Now the chaos was breaking news all evening yesterday here on Channel 4. Mike McDaniel was there for it all and Mike, you've got a new perspective to share on all this. Yeah, that man's apartment just happened to be the backdrop of this shootout. Robinson LaFonta moved in about two years ago and is now considering moving out. This is a bullet hole right here. Robinson LaFonta had a hard time believing what happened at his Harvey apartment yeah. complex Monday afternoon. From the outside to here, I guess the bullet flew back there by the lamp right there. Just outside his front door is where Jefferson Parish deputies had a shootout with 31-year-old Willis Thomas Jr. Sheriff Joe Lapinto says he's the man who gunned down two co-workers at FMT Shipyard Monday. He was targeting the people that were on his crew. I mean, there were certainly other employees uh, that were here at the location, but he targeted the people that were on his crew. Lapinto says Thomas, who was recently fired from the shipyard, was tracked down about three miles away at St. Germain Apartments, where he lived, and then tried to escape. He actually picked up his firearm and started firing shots at our officers. I have numerous officers uh, that returned fire at that point in time. Thomas was killed in the shootout as bullets flew into LaFonta's apartment. He's thankful he picked up a shift at work Monday and wasn't home. I spent three hours outside before I can walk into my apartment. He walked in and saw his patio glass door shattered. They got glass everywhere. Bullet holes through his walls and curtains and his front door broken because officers busted in. Did anybody can just push the door, it's completely open. LaFonta says he hasn't been able to sleep and feels like the apartment complex and sheriff's office have just left him to fend for himself. Still yet, nobody they never come here or call me to see Robinson, what you doing? Did you find somewhere to go or you stay in the apartment? He's still left wondering what to do because much like the glass on his patio door, his sense of peace is shattered. Every time I look at it, looking at those bullet holes in here, to be honest with you guys, I just feel like pack all my thing and leave. I really don't feel safe. The two men who were killed at the shipyard are 48-year-old Nakia Brown and 20-year-old Dustin Perry Jr., both of Harvey. They were both contract workers at the shipyard. Now, according to the coroner's office, they were shot anywhere from five to ten times each. I did speak with family members of Brown today. They told me he loved his job and leaves behind three kids.